Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this uh, video clip, I will show you how to do Kerskal Wallace test in SPSS. Just a brief description of what is Kerskal Wallace test. The test is used to compare more than two independent groups. So if you have more than two groups, and these groups they have uh, samples in it they are these uh, these groups are independent they are not paired they are not related whether they are equal size or different size then Kerskel wallace test is is for it uh, is the one to use especially if the data are not normally distributed in one of the group or in uh, more than uh, one group doesn't have a normal distribution that the, the groups variable uh, within the groups are independent they are not related not paired the test is based on ranking data uh, the test determines a, stati a statistically significant difference between the medians of three or more independent groups so it is specifically designed for a set of data in which you have more than two groups three and more the test is a parametric parametric equivalent of ANOVA it is a one-way ANOVA on ranks and the variables within each groups either can be ordinal and ordinal as I has mentioned before in different uh, video clips Ordinal is uh, from uh, a number is given from one to five. One, two, three, four, five. One mean unsatisfied, five mostly satisfied or mostly agreed. Uh, or the variable can be continuous in, in continuous like um, weight, height, and so on. But the data on this uh, in this continuous variable uh, is not. Um, normally distributed so how to do the analysis if we go into the SPSS window in data window I have generated really here uh, a result or data in which I've in then in which in the in this data I had really 21 participant in a study in which a new drug has been uh, produced and then need to test the efficacy and effect of this drug on one of the variable in uh, effect on one of the blood component uh, the efficacy of it so this group has been divided into three the first group has been given a placebo which is really uh, not a drug anything like water or salt and so on the second group just giving single dose of the drug the third group given a double dose of the drug and then the drug efficacy was measured as we have seen here through a number and given a, a number so as we can see here the group size is small all the groups are seven in each group there's seven uh, participant and i've checked the distribution of the data in the drug section or variable and it was not normally distributed so how can we really calculate how can we calculate uh, the significance uh, of the drug between uh, these groups okay the way to do it is to click on analyze scroll down to uh, the non-parametric test because this is uh, non-parametric data and then click on legacy then scroll down to K independent. K indicate that more than two samples. Click on that and then reset that. Another window will appear. In that window, there is a test type called Kerskel. We'll click on that. So we need the Kerskel, Kerskel Wallace test. We'll draw to trans transfer the drug into the variable list to test the variable. Participant, we will move it into the group variable. And in the group variable, I'm going to tell the software, hey, listen, I want you to uh, look at the group from number one. Number one, I give it, it has been assigned for placebo to maximum number three. Three is uh, from one to three. So the placebo single dose and double dose. And then click on OK, continue. For the exact, uh, then click in the exact 
test will just give it a sim symptom symptotic only and then the options I will select descriptive and then I will click on continue then hit the button for uh, OK and then uh, uh, an output SPSS window will appear telling you the drugs has been part there are 21 part participant uh, on this study it will calculate um, the mean and the standard deviation however what's important as this is descriptive data wall occur scale Wallace test as we can see here three groups placebo single dose double dose and again as you can see e e there are seven participant individuals in each group and if we look at the again the Kerskel ignored the value of each uh, number in uh, the um, drug and uh, rank them uh, uh, didn't work in the actual data it took the this data and rank them and put them in rank and gave it a rank so the mean rank for the placebo is 4.2 and for single dose 13 and for double doses 14.93 as we can see, there is a difference in the mean between placebo and single dose, placebo and double dose, but there is no sing, no difference, not significant, not that much difference, let's say, between uh, single dose and double dose. Now, Kerskal Wallace tests in SPSS has calculated the overall significance and comparison between these three groups and found out that there is a significant differences between these groups, i.e., taking the drugs make a changes but doesn't specify which two groups are significant and which are uh, not significant as we can see here the mean rank between single dose and double dose is very close so if I want to find out which groups really giving a different has a significant difference statistically significant uh, difference or effect of the drug we need again instead uh, in addition to do care scale to go back again and do man with new test for placebo and single dose placebo and double dose then single dose and double dose and i will show you really how to do it uh, i've already shown you how to use man with new test in a previous uh, video clip you can ha have a look at it but the way to do it is to go analyze click on non-parametric again and then click on legacy dialogue and then we need to click on two independent because this data we have our independent so we click on that reset that again again and i need to click here on man with new test i need to put the drug in the testing one and the participant here and i will come and then i want to define the group here we need to test compare test two group together so group number one is the placebo type one and the group number two is the first single dose click on continue exact will leave this i uh, window is exactly the same for option we'll take only click on descriptive and then we'll click on continue hit the ok button and voila we see here that the uh, man with new test has been calculated for placebo and single dose and it was found that there is a significant difference that if you get the fa first dose of the drug you get really a difference between control placebo which is a control and the single dose so there is a, a significant difference now let's see if there is a significant difference between um, uh, between a placebo and uh, double dose so we'll keep uh, group one is the placebo group three is the double dose click on ok keep everything and click hit ok again we can see that in this in this test in this test the value is again is also 0.1 between placebo and double dose of the uh, drug now if we again go back again and we do also the same test but instead of comparing one two three we click on two two three click ok keep everything the same and again a uh, man whitney uh, u test has uh, calculated this difference calculated the significant difference between single dose and uh, double dose and 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 as you can see here there is in fact no differences between the single dose and a double dose uh, as this uh, p value was 0.6 from this data we can really uh, in a show that um, has shown that cares cal wallace test that tell you that there is a difference significant difference between all these three groups but it doesn't tell you which group with which group 
has really significant. We have found out that placebo with single dose is have a really a significant difference. Placebo with double significant difference. But once we compared the single dose with a double dose, we couldn't find a significant difference. That's indicate that giving a pay an individual single dose or a double dose will have the same effect compared to placebo. This is the way to do a Scal Wallace test and then to do a subtest to determine which of the subgroup that have really statistically significant uh, effect. Thank you for listening.